Alright guys, here we go. Yes, we got here. Got Evie over here. Been watching us. So yes, everybody welcome to this week's Pokemon TCG opening. Um this week. Um be the first this week will be the first time in a few weeks that we've actually opened up actual Pokemon cards. Uh, I know a couple weeks ago there wasn't an opening. Uh, last week we did our first uh, Pokemon TCG online opening, and that was pretty cool. But now this week, going back to actual Pokemon cards, and what better way to get back to actual Pokemon cards openings? is by walking the champion's path so yes um i was able to get my hands on some champ's path cards as you can see here uh so what we have here we have 36 loose packs kind of on the top here because of course this is a special set they don't come in you know booster boxes that are seals like a lot of sets are oh but what's this underneath we have an elite trainer box so yes we got the loose packs and we have the late trainer box so can we open it up open it up tonight so yes, I can see here, we got Charizard VMAX on, on the front of the box here. And of course, you know, what am I trying to say here? Uh, oh yeah, Charizard VMAX, he is uh, one of the secret rare, one of the secret rares in the set. Um. So yeah, it's Champion's Path, a uh, very epic set. Uh, quite small, actually. Quite a small set. It's only, I think, 134 cards in the set. And that includes, co that's commons, uncommons, hollow rares, ultra rares, full art secrets, reverse foils, all the different cards you can pull out of your pack. It's only 134 of them, so it's fairly small. And if you're wondering why I didn't mention non hollow rares, is that's because there aren't any. Uh, for this set, uh, you are actually guaranteed a hollow rare or better in every single pack. So this, this, so this set is just like Shining Legends, just like Dragon Majesty in uh, that manner. So that's pretty cool. You get a lot of foil cards. Always nice. Um, but yeah, uh, something else to talk about the set is there are two secret rare Charizard cards. There's, of course, you remember our Charizard V Max, and there is also a secret rare Charizard V in the set. Both of those secret rare cards are, eh, they're worth about a thousand dollars Canadian each. So that's uh, that's what we're gonna be trying to do tonight. Is you know, can we pull a thousand dollar card at least once? So that is the goal. All right. So without further ado, let's get started here. Let's pop open this elite trainer box. By the way, these elite trainer boxes are actually very very expensive. I think, I think one of these, even when they first came out, were like, I think like a hundred dollars each. So they are, they are very, very expensive. So definitely, definitely probably going to be the only one. I'm gonna be opening up here. 
Okay, let's see. Maybe it'll be worth it. Maybe it'll be worth it in the end. Yeah, usually they're $40 uh, US. That's kind of like, you know, your normal sets. Not not these Elite Trainer boxes, right, you? These ones are... These ones are expensive. So, yeah, we're gonna... Yeah, so that's the front of the box. And there's, of course, that's what the back of the box look, looks like. Kind of curious about that. See all the goodies that we get out of here. So let's see, let's see what the back of the box says. Do you have the heart of a champion? I think the first step to defeating all of our is improving your worth. Traders like Becky and Marnie will challenge you throughout your journey in the Gala region. And while new Pokemon power your while new Pokemon power your strategies to take on Mighty Gym Layers Stadium's packed with cheering fans. Discover Venusaur, Cardio, and Cinnamon new Pokemon V, plus Gigantamax Pokemon like Dreadnought VMAX and Alchemy VMAX. Show your skill and mastery of the Pokemon TCG Champions Path expansion. Champions Path Elite Trainer Box includes 10 Pokemon TCG Champions Path boost, boost packs, one full art promo card featuring Charizard V. So if you wonder why there was no Full art Charizard V in Darkness of Blaze, that's why. Excuse my card sleeves featuring a gigantic match Charizard. 45 energy cards. Player's Guide to the Chains Pack Expansion. TTG Rulebook. 6 damage counter dice. Com one competition legal coin flip die. Two acrylic edition markers. Collector's box, hold everything. Forward virus, keep it organized. And the last thing. So yeah, so yeah, here we go. Let's open it up here. I don't have it the right way. Yeah, let's put that over there for now. There we go. Camera kind of fell over. Yeah, you're gonna be in the way. All right, so yeah, player's guide. You know, kind of talks about the expansion a little bit. Let's see, there's some of the V cards. They're also on the set. Some of the V Max cards as well. And then, of course, oh yeah, there's one of the cards we're going to be trying to pull here. That is, I think, I think that's one. Yeah, that's one of the thousand dollar cards in the set. So yeah, there are also some reprints in this set. So there was a bunch of cards. We're reprinting from other sets into the set. And of course, this kind of just shows off the set. Then we get to the end here, and yeah, there's that secret rare Charizard. And of course, there's that Charizard V Max. And so yeah, we will keep that. Oh, I'm just gonna keep it right there for now. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, I did hear about that DLC for Sword and Shields. All right, let's dive into our early trainer box here. So yeah, there you go. Rule book. You want to learn about the game?
And then of course, oh yeah. Got our markers. Got our dice right there. Like the orange one. The orange one's nice and sparkly. Cardboard. All right. So here's our ten packs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. There we go. That is our ten packs. We get the elite trainer box. There we go. Dividers for the box. You're probably not gonna keep. So I'm not keeping the actual box itself. Okay, energy cards. There's that. And of course, here is our. Here is our. Full art promo card. So this is our full art Charizard V. Very, very pretty looking card here. So those of you get what Charizard V does, has claw slash for 80 damage and fire spin for 220 damage, we have to discard two energy from this Pokemon. And yes, there you go. That is beautiful Charizard V. We'll put them um, on top of there. Those will be Charizard's packs. And of course, card sleeves. By lost card sleeves. All right. Let me just clean up a little bit over here. Give me a couple seconds. Also, last thing, go cards. So there you go. If you wanna, if you wanna write you or not write you Charizard. It's all right. <laughs> what Charizard? Some card sleeves. There you go. All right. So we're gonna put put our packs up here. Put Charizard beside the packs. We got Eevee watching over. All right, guys, here we go. So we're about to open up the Champions Pass. So we got how many packs? Do I got I have forty-six packs. Forty-six packs here. So hopefully one of these 46 packs has Secret Rare Charizard card in it. Let's go here. Let's get started. First pack, Champion's Path. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. I should keep them separate. There we go. All right. Here we go. Here we go. We are starting off with. Here we go. Okay, there we go. So we're starting off with a Pokeball. Uh, interesting thing about this set. Um, some of the trainer cards in this set are actually in here as commons. 
actually hasn't been done in actually actually it hasn't been done in quite a long time actually because you remember like way back like way back a long time ago like like a lot of the old sets they would have some trader cards as comments very very common thing to do way back then but not so much now So yeah, Pokeball was flip coin of head, search your deck for Pokemon, deal it, put it into hand, shuffle your deck. Put the trade cards to the side. Alright, we have Line Noon. We have the small hat. Special fire and water energy cards. Oh, I would like to. I would like to look at that. Check those out. Those, those sound pretty cool. Okay, Swablu, Scraggy, Metal Energy. Oh dear! Almost knocked over EV. Ooh. All right, here we go, Sonya. We print a uh, card from Rebel Clash. So this one is Such a deck for up to two basic Pokemon or up to two basic energy cards if you have them put in hand, shuffle your deck. All right, lie part. Team Yell Grunt. We print from the Sword and Shield base set. Put energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon into their hands. Alright, first reverse foil is a Nicket. There we go. And first rare card is going to be a Mopog Champ. Here we go. Starting off with a Mapog Champ. Man, I love the foil. Love the foil end of these cards. But the Hall of Airs. Very nice. Okay. I guess we'll put them, I guess, like that, I suppose. Maybe we'll move these up a little bit. Yes, that was a bit more room. All right. Here we go, next pack. So yeah, searching for Charizard. See if we can make her happen. There's the other Nicket. Machop. Eventually it'll become a Mapaw Champ. Go. EK. Water. Important to stay hydrated. Machoke. There we go. Machoke eventually becomes a Mapog Champ. Rotom Bike. The reprint. This one is draw cards until you have six cards in your hand and your turn ends. Hyper Potion. Once again, another reprint. You know, 120 damage for any Pokemon that has at least two energy attached to it. If you do any damage in this way, discard two energy from it. We have Turf Field Stadium. Or a reverse foil. 
By the way, there actually are not that many reverse foils in this set. So it is possible out of these 46 packs, we could pull almost all of them. Which would which would actually be pretty sweet for completing the set. Turn for the um more during each player's turn I play, I may search your deck for an evolution grass Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand, then that player shuffles their deck. And next for our card is Ooh, nice. Ultra Rare Galarian Cursula V. Very nice, actually very pretty looking card. I love it. I love the foil and that goes with the background. Very cool. So here we go, second pack in, we got our first Ultra Rare card. So Galarian Cursula with 9 Aura ability. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, whenever you put an untouched energy card from the hands of one of the Pokemon, put 3 damage counters on that Pokemon. And then Hollow Missile for 6 damage. Put three damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon any way you like. So actually, it actually seems like a pretty good, pretty good Pokemon V card. I mean, if you ever get to an online opening of Champion's Path, you could maybe make a Psychic deck with uh, Cursula in it. That should be pretty cool. All right. Here we go. All right, next pack. Alright, here we go. Roly Coley. Sizzlepeach. I think that I think that's an exact uh I think pretty sure that's a reprint from uh Rebel Clash. Pretty sure that's the exact same art. Proline, another reprint. Oops, darkness energy. Here we go, we got Betty is back. So this one is attach a basic energy card from your hand to one of your benched Pokemon. Piers is back. Believe it or not, Piers is actually in the set as a seeker rare as well. So Piers is back. This one is search your deck for energy card in a dark Pokemon. Feel them, put them into your hand, and shuffle your deck. Suspicious Food Tin! This is actually not a reprint. This is a brand new trainer card. Also, also in here as a secret. So Suspicious Food Tin, this one is heal 80 damage from one of the Pokemon that has at least one Psychic Energy attached. If you healed any damage in this way, you discard a Psychic Energy from it. So pretty similar to a Hyper Potion. It doesn't heal as much, but doesn't cost as much energy. Ooh, ooh! Here we go. Reverse foil psychic energy. Yes. Yeah, speaking, speaking of a psychic energy, here we go. 
Um, yeah, I guess now would be a good time to mention, um, you can also pull reverse foil energy cards, just like in Shining Legends, just like Dragon Majesty, just like Hidden Fates. And I think, I think right now, right now these are going for about $5 a pop. So these are actually quite valuable. Yeah, look, look at the foiling on that. That is... Look at that. Foiling so good, you can actually see the camera in the card. Like, that is how good the foiling is. Look at that. Hold on, can you see me in the card? Where am I? Oh, where am I? Oh, I, oh yeah, they're um, kind of there, kind of blurry. Ooh, Zygarde! One of the many forms of Zygarde. Oh yeah, that's true. That is very true, Raichu. Can, he can heal and then attach energy. Jizzy. Pretty easy way to get around that. Oh. All right, here we go. Next pack here. The Kakuna. Trubbish. Potion. Heal third damage from one of the Pokemon. I think the other common trying to occur in this set, I believe, is the full heal. I believe. Ian. It feels so weird seeing trainer cards as commons in a, uh, in a new set. Just because it hasn't been done in so long. Feels a little bit strange. Oh, Kabu! Kabu is back. It was recently just in the last set, Darkness of Blaze as well. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw four cards. If your active Pokemon is your only Pokemon in play, draw eight cards instead. So that's Kabu. And Marnie! We print from Sword and Shield. Good to see Marnie back. So Marnie is, each player shovels their hand and puts it on the bottom of their deck. Either player put any cards on the bottom of the deck in this way, you draw five cards. And your opponent draws four cards. So in fact, Bianca. Oh, neat. Can't remember, I can't remember exactly what Bianca's effect was. I think, I think Bianca was black and white series trainer card, I believe. So that one's, that one's pretty old. Really? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Could, could have been Lily. I uh, can't, can't, can't remember all of all the different cards anymore. It's just so many. So many different trainer cards with similar effects. Lightning, yep, yeah. hoping to strike lightning tonight. Okay, Malamar. 
There's turf field again. Okay, five parts. All right, we got the Pokeball. Nice, got the Pokeball. Any Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. And, ooh, nice. Ultra Rare Alchemy V Max. Oh, you draw until you have six for this first turn. Okay. Okay, so it is similar, just the condition is slightly different. Yeah, here we go. You look at the giant. Do you look at the giant cake? Alchemy V Max is wow. That is that's a giant cake of a Pokemon. Villain Pub, welcome to the stream, buddy. Hopefully you're doing well, having a great weekend. Welcome to welcome to the Champions Pass. Villain Puff with the follow. Thank you so much, Villain. A little bit of support helps. Much appreciated. So yes, yeah, ho hopefully you are doing well, Villain. But yes, here we are. Alchemy V Max. Dude, look at all the different colors on this one. That is nice. All right, so here we go. Alchemy V Max with Adornment. For each of your banished Pokemon, search your deck for a Psychic Energy card and attach it to that Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. And G Max Whisk. Discard any amount of energy from your Pokemon. This attack to six damage for each card you discarded in this way. Yo, how's it going, villains? Jin? Just uh, opening up some Champions Path packs here. Yeah, I've, I, yeah, you know, I've been streaming here and there lately for the most part. So, you know, keeping the Twitch channel alive, keeping the YouTube channel alive as well, keeping her going. Great weekend, just got into opening packs today, the young age of 25, nice. Yo, welcome, welcome to the Pokemon TCG Collecting World Villain Puff. Hopefully one day you will be able to collect them all. As the Pokemon catchphrase is, gotta catch them all. Oh, I, oh, you didn't get any notifications all just now? Uh, I see. Yeah, Twitch notifications tend to be a little broken at times. I, I usually have my Twitch notifications turned off because I don't want to get like a hundred email notifications saying this person's live, that person's live, and so on. Kind of makes emptying the email box a little less painful. Ooh, there we go. Sent to Scorch. Oh yes, right you right. I got more packs. I got more packs than just the ten here. So yes, don't worry, we will definitely be doing some Charizard hunting tonight. I am hoping for one Charizard card 
That's the goal. The goal is one Charizard card. All right, no worries, Raichu. We will I'll definitely still be here. Search for Charizard. Hey, it's a Vulpix. And a Rockruff, okay. Absol is in here, nice. Great ball. Another reprint. So one is look at the top seven cards of your deck. Maybe video Pokemon can find there and put it in two hands. Shuffle the other cards back to your deck. Rotom Phone. This is not another trainer card that is not a reprint. Actually, brand new to this set. Good old Rotom Phone. So when this this one is look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose one of them and shove the other cards back into your deck. Then put the card you chose on top of your deck. So that is Rotom Phone. Ooh, we got a Weedle. We go for Reverse Foil. And nice! Nice! Three Ultra Rares in this late trader box. This time we had Lucario V. Very, very nice. It's a pretty solid Elite Trainer box so far. Most Elite Trainer boxes, you do not get three Ultras in, in one. So this is pretty good. Yo, welcome back, Raichu. Alright, here we go. Cario V with Aura Sphere. For 40 damage. And this attack also does 20 damage to one opponent's bench Pokemon. And beat damn smash for 180 damage. But during your next turn, this Pokemon can't use beat down smash. So there we go. That is Lucario V. Very nice. That better. All right, here we go. A few more packs in the Elite Trainer box. All right, here we go. Make sure the piles are neat, or neat-ish. So yeah, because this is a small set, you know, get to see a lot of the same cards pretty quickly. Well, here we go. Got, got the Galarian Linoon, reverse foil this time. And oh, we got the Obstagoon. Wait, did we get a Zigzagoon in this pack? I want to see. Hold on. We got the Linoon. Oh, we didn't get the Zigzagoon. Oh, man, we could have had the whole line. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, we did get the Obstagoon though. It's pretty nice. Alright, couple more. Couple more for the Trader Box here. Alright, 
oh, here's there's the full heal. That's the other one. Yeah, it's a Pokemon curse from all special conditions. So that's the last common trainer card. Again, so weird to find common trainer cards now in uh, new sets these days. Most of them are usually uncommon. Milo is here again. I think he was in Rebel Clash, I believe. So discard up to two cards from your hand and draw two cards for each card you discarded in this way. There we go. Oh, we got the phone again. This time as a reverse foil. And my pod champ is back. That's our second one. All right, here we go. Last pack of the elite trainer box here before we go on to our our quote unquote booster box. So here we go, you guys. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go, one team's path code for you guys. There you go. Best of luck on pulling, hopefully, a Charizard. Well, I guess technically we already got a Charizard. We've already won the Charizard in a little bit. Although that was kind of a guarantee coming from an elite trainer box. There is a Zigzagoon. Yeah, there's Kabu. Ooh, Scrafty! There we go, that's our first reverse rare. That's pretty nice. And of course, all reverse rares are actually reverse hollow rares, since there are no non hollow rares in the set. Yes, that is right, Victini is in the set. Uh, pretty sure Victini is in here, it's just an uncommon though. There we go, Altaria. There we go. Taria. First one of those. All right. So that's it for the Elite Trader box. Now let's. All right, so now we're gonna pick up the pace here. We're gonna we're now we're gonna open up our booster box here. So here we go. Thirty six packs, thirty six more chances. Let's get a Charizard out of here. Let's go. Let's go, guys. So yeah, loose packs ratios are going to be quite wacky. Hopefully, wacky for for the better, and you get a lot of a lot of epic pulls and not just a lot of hollow rares. 
Even though, like, all the Hall Rares in this set are actually worth, like, a dollar each. Ooh, all right. There we go, Metal Energy Reverse Foil. There we go. Can I just see the camera as usual. Very, very nice. Oh, wow. Three my pod champs. All right. So we're definitely breaking out the Mapa champs today. Booster box. Let's see what we get out of here. Oh, there's Hop. As another training card I pulled out. A uh, different art this time. You actually notice that is not the same artwork. That is the one that that's. Not the same artwork from the one that's in uh, Sword and Shields. So, you know, kind of a reprint, but because it's a different artwork, it's kind of not a reprint. If that even makes sense. Oh yeah. Dude, once we get that Charizard, we're gonna be hopping up and down. With a lot of energy. Actually, we'll put Hop over here. Whoop! I just hit the camera. Sorry about that. Just we'll bop on the camera there. Galarian Obstagoon! There we go. Hollow Rare Reverse Foil. Very nice. And oh oh oh! Ooh, there we go. First secret rare card of the night, and it is the suspicious Futin. Uh actually, the only, the only um. Trainer secret rare card in the set. Uh, the only card, the only secret rare that actually has the gold around it in the set. So, man, very beautiful. I actually kind of like, kind of like the uh, the mix of uh, purple and gold. That actually looks very, very cool. Oh yeah, yeah. I like I like when you can shine a light around that. You can actually see. You can actually see like. Like the lines on it. That looks so cool. There we go. Sus Secret rare suspicious footin. Very, very nice. Getting our first secret rare card. All right. One secret. One secret. One of hopefully many to come. Definitely to wait and see here. Lots of packs to go still, so a lot, lot can happen. Uh, right. 
Here we go. Speed it up a little bit. So I think you have pretty much seen all the all comments and mouse on comments. There's Victini that we mentioned earlier. Oh wow, another Scrafty reverse foil. That is two of those now. So yeah, we're definitely getting, definitely getting, you know, pretty, pretty scraft, pretty crafty with scrafty now. Oh, there we go, Professor's Research. The other hollow rare trainer card from Sword and Shield. We printed once again in this set. This one is discard, discard your hand, draw seven. Same effect as Professor Sycamore, same as Professor Juniper, same as OG Professor's Oak. Now you guys remember all those cards. There we go. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of, kind of interesting how there's like how there's multiple different cards, but but they all have like the same effects. Probably because they wanted to keep the effect, I guess, for the different formats and whatnot. Zigzagoon. There we go, Zigzagoon. Streamer's Choice of Plush. Oh, dude, I never thought actually thought of that. That would actually be really cool. And, oh, there's the Scrafty. There's the Hollower Scrafty. There we go. Yeah, that would actually be cool. I just pick a random plush. That would be cool. I, sh I, I definitely should add that. Have to figure out a... Uh, have to calculate a price for it one time. Oh, come on. Gotta watch your corners. Watch the corners of the cards. Don't want to bend them. You don't want to take care of the cards. So you never know, one of these cards could have... One of these cards and one of these packs could be $1,000 wait for us. But yeah, it should make a mystery plush pick. Oh, Pokemon Center Lady. There you go, that's heal six damage from your Pokemon and remove and rem remove all special conditions from that Pokemon. Another Rotom Phone Reverse Foil. Second one of those now. And another Center Scorch. All right. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of what happens with, uh, with small sets. Small sets, you start seeing a lot of the. Quickly start seeing a lot of the same cards over and over again. <laughs> so 
Here we go. We'll start picking up the pace a little bit. Oh, the last code had a Victini in the Sons of Scorch. Nice. Nice. Kind of funny how that ended up happening. Uh, Arubak. For reverse foil. Ooh, midday Lycanroc. There we go, our first one of these. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'm, I wonder if there's like certain patterns of, uh, certain patterns of, uh, Of different uh, boost booster cards and booster packs or something like that. Sort of like like if you see one card, you kind of know what the next card's gonna be, or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, in the same positions too, yeah. Yeah. I I wonder I wonder like if for certain sets or if they start doing that for all the sets now, like it starts having like certain sequences of cards of certain rarities in packs and sets. There we go, Milo. Reverse foil. Another sense of scorch. Once again, we got these two in the same pack. So maybe there is some correlation going on after all. Who knows? Alright. Here we go. Still looking for Charizard. Looking for one Zard. Okay, Atkins. And Zygarde is back. That's our second, only our second Zygarde. Get off this schneid of hollow rares here. Someone seen a full art yet? Ooh, okay, there we go. Reverse lightning energy. That is pretty sweet. Definitely take that. Ooh, Hatterene. There we go, that's our first one of these. Oh, I thought Hatterene actually had, I thought there was something else on Hatterene, but no. 
So there we go, we got the big hat. Which actually kind of reminds me, I don't think we've pulled a, a hat trim yet. Hat trim is only an uncommon. I don't think we've actually pulled one yet. Which is a little strange. But, but then again, these are loose packs and ratios can be a little bit wonky. Portion. Keep pushing for the Charizard. Kind of hoping to strike lightning here. Ooh, another Obstagoon. Very, very nice. P pretty sure all, pretty sure all Hall of Reverse falls in this set are about a dollar fifty each. So it's pretty nice to get one. Ooh, okay, second Altaria. All right. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Can we get... Okay. Throwing some fire here. Starting to warm up. Ooh. Grass energy. Wow. I think that's four reverse foil energy cards. We've been all different so far. I wonder if we're going to manage to pull all eight of these. That would be pretty neat. So there we go. Reverse fall grass energy and... <gasps> Another second rare! Nice! Two secret rare cards now. Let's go. Here we go, Secret Rare Piers. There we go. There we go, we're finally off of the Hollow Rare Schneid here. Secret Rare Piers, very, very nice. We got the rock star. All right. Yeah, I, was, I, I mean, I was holding my breath in that one. I saw Rainbow Rare. I'm thinking, oh man, this could be it. That is beautiful. Very, very nice. So two Seeker Rare cards now. Still no Full Arts. That's okay. Definitely take our Seeker Rares all day here. Alright, here we go. Let's keep pushing. So that's good. Seeker Rare. Very nice to see one of those. Alright, here we go. So then I keep pushing for the Charizard. But that is so far two Seeker Rares out of our booster box here, so. 
Things are looking pretty promising. And we'll get another one. Ooh, another Altaria. Three of those now. Okay. Oh, come on. Here we go. We got a potion. Potion's always a nice healing item. Oh, we got a Victini. Is this me with another sense of scorch? Well, you see that, everybody? It's giving me a sense of scorch. No! It is a Marnie this time. All right. So not all packs that have Victinis in it have Sense of Scorches in it. So there we go. Second Marnie. Some trubbish there. Okay, we'll get the small hat. Can we get the medium hat? I, I know hat trim is in this set. I just haven't seen one. Alright, here we go. In K. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. Sacred Rare Charizard V, dude! Yes! Yes! Let's go, dude! That is an $800 card in a booster pack! Yes! Yes! I'm trying to be quiet because my parents are actually sleeping right now. Yes, dude! Let's go! Secret Rare Charizard V. Oh my god, we actually did it. Bro. Let's go, dude. We actually got a Secret Rare Charizard V. And yes, yeah. What what I said earlier about you know each of these being like eight hundred to a thousand dollars each, I wasn't actually kidding. The like these secret rare Charizard cards are really like actually worth that much. Oh my god. Secret Rare Charizard V. There it is, guys. That is beautiful. Yo, what is up, Harold? Yeah, yeah, here, here in Canada, uh, both Seeker Rare Charizard cards are like eight hundred to a thousand dollars each. Like they they are just they're just crazy value. Like it like it is absolutely insane the value of these Charizard secrets. Yeah. Yeah, actually, even the, even the one in Hidden Fates now, the one in Hidden Fates, 
And I think the one in uh, Burning Shadows, they're creeping up. I think they're now in the $800 to $1,000 realm now. Oh my god. Dude, let's go. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put actually I'm gonna open up this so it's out of its wrapper. If I can even get it out. Yeah, dude. That is the first first seeker rare Charizard we've pulled tonight. Here we go. We'll put it right, right next to its brother. Right at the top there. Yeah, dude. So that's one Charizard. Three Seeker Rares so far from our booster box. We're not even halfway through our booster box yet. Dude, this this is this is this is already crazy. We've already got our value back and then some thanks to the Charizard. But alright. Alright guys, here we go. Let's see if we can pull the Charizard V Max out of here. Yeah, I know, right, right, Chew? I am never, I never get this lucky with, with Pokemon cards. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Like, like th this, this, we're now, we're now into, like, like, now we're into, like, Unbroken Bonds luck now oh boy so here we go hey professor's research so here we go first hall of rare very very nice and there we go. First full art card. My goodness. It, we actually pulled three secrets before our first full art. That is... That is pretty wild. Not gonna lie. It's pretty crazy. But here we are. Full art Gardevoir V. Very, very nice. I actually really do like the, uh, the blue background behind Gardevoir. That's really cool. So here we go. Gardevoir V. Magical shot for 30 damage. And Swelling Pulse. This Pokemon was healed during your, this turn. This attack does 80 more damage. So there we go. Gardevoir V Full Art to follow up a Seeker Rare Charizard pull. All right, all right, here we go. Yeah, that is true. You can definitely abuse that by using, by using potions. That's absolutely correct. Just stick, stick four potions into your deck. And you know that's that's gonna be a lot of damage right there. Oh 
All right, here we go. Full heal. And oh my god, no freaking way. Another secret rare. Let's go, guys. Secret rare. Charizard V Max, dude. Two packs later. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, we actually pulled the other thousand dollar card. Bro. What is happening right now? <laughs> Holy crap. Dude. Dude, I can't even pull this guy in darkness ablaze. Oh my god. Both secret rare Charizard cards. Oh my god. Let's freaking go, guys. Oh my god. Yeah, I think it's official, right, Chu? Every card opening, you gotta request an Eevee. E e Eevee is just... Eevee is just our lucky charm for these card pulls. Oh my freaking god, guys. There we go. Knocking out both Charizards. Alright, so here we go. Charizard V Max. With Claw Slash for 100 damage. And G Max Wildfire for 300 damage. We had to discard two energy from this Pokemon. Oh my god. Secret rare Charizard V Max. Pulling another thousand dollars out of a pack. Oh my goodness, dude. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna put you next to your fellow brothers right there. Dude, that is four secret rare cards. Both Charizards now. Man, man I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta find a way to get more of this set. Dude, this is... This is crazy. I gotta try to get more of this set before, like... The prices of these packs just go through the roof. Because I, I honestly could tell you it's not going to be too long from now that Champion's Path packs are just going to be... They're going to be so expensive and so hard to find because... Everybody is just... just everybody's going to go for Charizards. I mean... Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> Dude, this is absolutely crazy right now. Oh, there we go. We finally got the hat trim. Finally got the medium hat. Oh, my goodness. All right, another rock rough. Okay, okay. Bring, bring it back. Bring it back down a little bit. Another professor's research. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to finish off my water here. Holy smokes, dude. Oh. Boy, if this keeps going like this, might have to get another ball of water. Just chug that one down. Alright. Alright. We finally made it halfway through. Finally made it to the halfway point of the booster box. 
took a while to get there, but we got there. Yeah, dude, we are only halfway through the booster box. You know, if, if you can even believe we are halfway through. Like, like, no joke, all four of our secrets have been pulled in, like, the first 16 packs of the booster box. Like, oh, dude, dude, we have made our money back and then some. Like, th this is just... Like, this This is definitely the best opening I have ever done. Ever. On my Twitch channel. Like, th this is... Yeah, this is crazy. Oh, excuse me. Okay, Voli Coley. Another Obstagoon. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Time for the second half. Let's see what the second half has got. Holy smokes. All right. Yo, congrats on the, on the uh, Incineroar V Raichu. Very, very nice ultra rare pull. Come on, just open up. All right, here we go. First pack of the second half. Let's see. Let's see what the second half has got to offer us here. All right. Great ball. What's the great ball going to have for us? Oh boy. Another sacred rare pierce. Oh, yes. Here we go. Second Pierce, fifth Secret Rare. Dude, are Secret Rares seriously like this easy to pull in this set? Th 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 this seems, this seems a little bit ridiculous. There's no way, there's no way Secret Rare cards in this set are this easy to pull. I have to be just getting. I have to be getting just stupidly lucky. But there we go. Second Pierce. Secret Rare number five. Holy smokes. Dude, this is going to be one hell of a recap. Boy, it's gonna be one hell of a recap if we can even like if we can even like make it to the recap. Alright, here we go. Next pack here. Right in the darkness. Yeah, pretty safe to say we are hopping up and down. It's all the energy. Ooh, there we go. Reverse Marty. Definitely take that. Very, very nice. Ooh, okay. There we go. Second. Glaring Cursalavi. You know, I just realized we have pulled more secret rares than 
ultra rare so far. Which is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, Seeker Rares are winning so far. Alright. There we go. So two Galarian Cursulas now. There we go. That's alright. Definitely take that. Alright. Oh boy. All right. I wonder if it's even possible if we can even get a third Charizard card out of here. Three Charizards would be absolutely like we'd be entering the realm of Arceus at that point. Okay, Sizzlipede, Nurse Crafty. Okay, that's all right. We've been very crafty. That's all right. It's all right. This opening has been definitely the best opening I've ever done. All right, come on. See if we can make it even better here. Okay, got the. Okay, here we go. Psychic energy. Let's work our psychic powers. I'm going to say we're going to pull a third Charizard at some point. Which would be. Which would be crazy. Hey, Nickit. Another Altaria. Okay. Okay, okay. Pushing. Keep pushing even though we pretty much got everything we could have possibly hoped for. Uh, another psychic energy. It's our second one of these. Boy, I gotta love that you can actually see the camera through the card. That is cool. Another Altaria, wow. Pretty sure we have a place of Altarias now at this point. Oh, that was a fifth Altaria? Oh, wow. So Altarias now have actually caught up to the secrets, believe it or not. That is, that is uh, pretty amazing, I guess. All right. Here we go, Milo. Oh, are you serious, man? Another secret rare suspicious food tin. Crap, I need two hands to actually count the number of secrets we've gotten. Dude. Six secret rares. Dude, what is going on? This is... 
so, so, so basically, so far, so far, even with still pulling more secrets, we have gotten a secret rare every six packs in our booster box. Every six packs, dude. That's, dude. I I just don't understand what is happening right now. Ooh, this one's a little off cut though. Let me actually show this. Yeah, this suspicious food tin's a little off cut. You can see there's not a lot of border there. Come over her side. There's a lot of border on that side. So yeah. A little off cut, but nonetheless. Still a seeker rare. Add that to the seeker rare pile. My god, that is crazy. That's six secret rares. Oh man, hold on, I'm gonna have to get another bottle of water. Be back, bottle of water time. <laughs> Got another bottle of water because this opening is just too good. Elgov with a follow. Thank you so much, Elgov. A little bit of support helps push PG. Oh. There we go, Algov with Algovs. Oh my goodness. All right. Six C career so far. Can we go for number seven? Let's see if we can make it happen. Holy cow. I can honestly say, can honestly say at this point, this is the most secret rares I've ever pulled in a single opening. And I'm not talking about you know, the Cosmic Eclipse Seeker Rares. I'm talking like Seeker Rare Seeker Rares. Oh, excuse me. Alright, Team Yell Grunt. Whew. Oh boy. Okay. Alright, another Ultra Rare Galarian Cursula. Oh, do I even have tissues? I might have napkins over there. Uh, all right. So three Galarian Cursulas now. Do I have... Do I have napkins over there? Let me take a quick peek. Let me just see. Oh, crap, I don't. Oh, I don't have any, don't have any tissues or napkins down here. So, usually, usually I don't talk this much at one time. For whatever reason, just maybe it's just like I have my head down the whole time and. My body is not used to used to that over like a couple hours or so. But yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm not gonna get any goobers all over the cards. 
cards will be just fine. Yeah, you would hate to get goobers over on your Charizard cards. That would definitely be a feels bad man right there. Definitely want to avoid that. All right, Piers. All right, now midday like rock. That's only our second one. I'm trying to think if there's been. I'm trying to think if there's been any hollow rares we've not pulled yet. Don't think there. I don't think there is. I think we. I think we got them all. Could be wrong. All right, here we go. Come on now. Center lady. Ooh, no lightning energy. I mean, we've definitely struck lightning twice tonight. And, ooh, nice. There we go, Ultra Rare Eldegoss V. Finally seen another Ultra Rare card. Yeah, I actually like this Eldegoss. Look how happy it is. It's enjoying the field, enjoying the blue skies. It's having a great time outside. So here we go. Eldegoss V. With the happy match ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you put a supporter card for your discard pile into your hand. And float up for 50 damage. Shovel this Pokemon and all cards attached to attached to it into your deck. So there we go. That is Eldegoss V. Alright. How many packs do we have left? Four, eight, nine packs left We're three quarters of the way through the booster box still got time for things to happen here all right here we go Okay, you got the cocoon. Piers is back. I believe this is our third reverse foil Milo, I believe. So definitely the reverse foil we've seen the most of. Ooh, another professor's research, okay. Okay, that's all right. All right. All right, here we go. A chop. Got another Pokeball. Hopefully catch a nice poke. Oh, there we go. Reverse Foil Altaria. 
So that's the first one of these, I believe. Or sixth one, if you want to kill all the hollow rare ones. Ooh, there we go. There's the regular guard of RV. Very, very nice. So that has both full art one and the regular ultra rare one now. Yeah, that picture actually looks very, very cool. Really liking that artwork there. There we go. Add that to the pile. That's four, that's four. Oh boy. All right, little hats. It's actually a happy little hat, actually, to be a little more exact. All right, Carvana. Ooh, my Pog champ is back. I believe that is now a playset of my Pog champs now. Oh, excuse me. got how many more is that five five more packs after this so we're getting we're getting down to the end here oh another reverse foil Marnie very very nice and dude are you serious now oh my god Secret rare suspicious food tin third one seventh secret rare overall holy cow dude dude I'm trying to think I don't even think out of all the I don't even think out of all the Dragon Majesty packs that I opened up on the channel before. I don't even think out of all those packs I even pulled seven secrets. Oh my oh my goodness, dude, this is ridiculous. Seven secret rares. Three suspicious food tins. Two peers. Two Charizards. There it is. Secret rare number seven. Holy cow. All right, dude, we still have, we still have five packs left. Holy cow, dude. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to, I'm definitely gonna have to get more of this set at some point. Hopefully before prices just skyrocket. Cause holy smokes, this was fun. Tell your suspicious food tin. 
Oh, rock rough. And ooh, all right, there we go. Ultra rare VSR V. There we go. Finally, different ultra rare card. Very, very nice. So here we go. Venusaur V. This one has pollen bomb for 80 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now sleep and poisoned. And Solar Typhoon for 220 damage. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Solar Typhoon. So there we go. That is Venusaur V. How many Ultras have we gotten? Oh, this is Ultra Rare number 8. Okay, so the Ultra Rares are winning again. But just barely. Just barely winning. Yeah, I really do need to get a Kleenex after the stream. Alright, here we go. Last four packs, guys. Last four packs. Can we get some last pack? Magic. Let's see if we can make her happen here. Here we go. Trubbish. Cabu, Sonia. Victory. Ooh, Hatterene. There we go. That's a good reverse foil right there. And my Pog Champ number five. All right. Three more packs. Three more. A oh. little piece of uh, wrapper there. All right, here we go. There to the last pack. See if we can make anything else happen here. Okay, purloin. Okay, another scrafty. I think that's I think that's five scrafties now. Alright, alright, alright. Second last pack. Second last pack. Absol. No suspicious food tin. Definitely got a lot of a lot of these tins right now. Zygarde. I think that's only your third Zygarde, I believe. Well, since we've seen it. Alright, guys. Here we go. Last pack of this incredible opening. Let's make it happen. Here we go. Last pack magic. See 
if we can make last pack magic happen. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. See if you guys could get some uh, Charizard luck yourself. All right, here we go. Got the Pokeball. Epic Pokemon where you're gonna catch in the last pack here. Okay. Last reverse foil, Absol. And last rare card. Ooh, Duraludon. Okay, there we go. We'll definitely take that for our last pack. That is our first Duraludon V. Very, very nice, guys. Great way to finish off this amazing opening. Oh, sorry for all the sniffles. So here we go, Duraludon V with the Hard Coat ability. Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. In Gatling Slug. Attack does 40 more damage for each metal energy attached to this Pokemon. Oh. So there we go. That is Duralodon V. All right. All right, guys. Now we gotta somehow. Now we gotta somehow do. Do a recap of this now. All right, here we go. Let's get started with the recap. All right. Hold on, let me just move some stuff here. Very quickly. You'll keep, keep Evie on there. Uh oh, uh oh, Paul's getting away. All right, here we go. Okay, reverse foils. Quickly go through these. A lot of pretty neat reverse foils. Got some energies. There was a Marnie went by. Professor's Research, Obstagoon, Scrafty. So there we go. So that is our. Reverse foils. Okay, hollow rares. Boy, this will take a little bit to kind of organize the hollow rares a little bit. So give me about two seconds to just quickly. Quickly sort through these. There, 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 and there. Okay. All right. Hollow rares. Here we go. So we have one Hatterene. We had five Altarias, five of those, three Professor Researches, two Midday Lycanrocks, 
We had five, five Mapog champs. We had three Scrafties, three Zygarde's. Two Obstagoons. We had two Marnies. And last but not least, we had three set to Scorches. So there we go. That is our Hollow Rares. Now on to our ultra rares. People easier sort. All right, here we go. Ultra rares. So we had one Duraludon, one Venusaur, one Gardevoir, one Eldegoss, three. Cursulas. So we got three Cursulas out of that. One Lucario. And one Alchemy V Max. So that's our Ultra Rares. Now for our Full Arts. Only one Full Art. That was our Gardevoir V. So only one. But now for our secret rares. And yes, there are a lot of secret rares this time. So yes, secret rares. Three suspicious food tins. Two peers. So two of those. But last but not least, for secrets. One Charizard V Max. And then. One shiny Charizard V. So there we have it, guys. That is finally the end of our Champions Path opening. Really want to get more of this set because that was a lot of fun. Just all the epic cards that we got out of here. Still cannot believe we actually got both Charizards out of our packs. That was that was crazy. So yeah. Yep. Yep, that's right, Raichu. We are victorious in our search for Charizards. We did it, guys. We're victorious. So, yes. Um, so, yeah, thank you, everybody, for watching. That was absolutely a far one of the best openings I've ever done. So thank you everybody for watching. And yeah, hopefully this week, hopefully this week I'll be able to stream more because um, we've actually gone back to, we've gone back to a modified stage two uh, COVID reopening stage. So unfortunately that means the next four weeks, not gonna be bowling. Well, that'll, that'll mean next four weeks, be able to stream on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So, that, so that's pretty awesome. 
Yeah, I hope I can get a few more streams per weekend. But yes. Thank you everybody for watching. Until next time, everybody. Have a great night. Take care. I will see you guys next time.